All right, it's been a few days since I put the engine together, and I got it started, but guess who forgot to start the camera? Anyhow, I thought I'd uh, start it again today just to show you how it works, and yeah. All right, I already primed the engine a little bit with a bit of WD-40 into the carburetor. That's my trick. I have it loaded up with Shell Premium fuel and uh, all systems check. Close choke a little bit. Have to. I'll have to tune it once it starts because I messed up the tuning. So this is what that's for. Okay, let's say three cranks and it'll start. So I was actually really surprised with how well it ran, considering how badly it ran before I put the new piston and rings in. You should have seen how it smoked and it just had no power. It was like, it was awful. But it's amazing now, like no smoke and it's running super clean and, and seemingly powerful. There are a few little things like uh, you got a bit of an oil leak and um, yeah, having a little bit of trouble with the carburetor, but nothing I can complain of it being 55 years old. I think it works as well as it has to for my purposes. So uh, I think it's ready for some work. Enter my most wonderful go-kart. So the special thing about this go-kart really is that it's made of wood and it cost me next to nothing. The only thing I really bought was the uh, was one board for the body that I kind of split into two and put together at the back to make it a little wider, but that was it. Otherwise, it's all just things, scrap wood we had left over, bits and bobs that used to be, handle used to be, uh, or rather steering wheel used to be a sh shovel handle. Old, the wheels are from an old uh, dump cart we had. Of course, there's the engine at the back. This axle was from a used barrel or something. I, I'm forgetting where some of these things came from. That's an old bicycle wheel, bicycle chain, bicycle sprocket. Uh, we did. I did buy this though. That was the other thing I bought. But otherwise, it's pretty much just um, scrap pieces and salvage, and that's partly what makes it so special. But also because it's full featured. You know how, like for one thing. You know how a lot of wooden go-karts, they just do like the the one piece and the wheels attached to it and it's hinged in the middle with, a, with an axle there and it just kind of swings back and forth? Well, I, I don't go with usual. I went with a full feature automotive style, almost rack and pinion steering, except it's like a, call this a push and pull, like it tugs the string and uh, pulls the tire back and forth and it's just kind of taut so both of them go. So anyway. That's one thing. I spent a lot of time on the front here. The next interesting thing, there's really only two interesting things. Oh, and there's a seat, of course, and then behind, we have the drivetrain. And it's one-wheel drive, again, dead axle, just one-wheel drive. Oh, no, rather, yeah, it would be dead axle. Um, and so the thing here was I didn't have a centrifugal clutch. I didn't want to buy a sprocket. So I used what I had, and I knew this engine, it's two horsepower, it's not terribly powerful. So I knew I needed to have a pretty high ratio. So I ha what I have here, you can soon pretty easily see how it works by just looking at it. There's a, 
a pulley that go that a belt that's driven by a pulley from the engine goes to this bicycle wheel, spins it, and there's kind of supposed to be a one-way clutch there, but for some unknown reason, sometimes it just randomly disengages, so I don't know. And then it goes from the sprocket on the wheel down, the, uh, the chain goes down to the, uh, a, a bigger sprocket down at the wheels there. There's the axle, there's what it looks like from the bottom, by the way. It's pretty dubious. It's wood. I got one flat tire. Steering's loose. Seats all kind of like just this, like, ah, wood fiber thing. That's for something else. And, uh, wood's cracking over there a little bit. This lever's weird. But, hey, it's... It's fun and it works. No real accelerator. This line is just kind of an auxiliary uh, speed adjuster sort of thing. Most of the time it's kind of just one speed. One fixed speed for there for, in case you're wondering, is to disengage the engine. That's uh, supposed to. It's supposed to like loosen the belt and then the belt, let's see if I can hold it out. Okay. The belt kind of loosens like that and then it goes taut loosens gets taut. So that's the uh, that's how it's supposed to be like a clutch to disengage it that way. Sort of works, sort of doesn't for starting it and control. The other thing very important here is a kill switch for you know emergencies. And then there's a here a backup kill switch, I guess for emergency emergencies. Is that right? So there's your introduction to my go-kart, and we'll take it for a spin as soon as I can pump up that tire. So give me just a minute. Almost there. We had a breakdown. Engine quit multiple times. We got a reliability issue. So my final thoughts on this go-kart. Uh, it's underpowered, it's small, and it's slow. But it's fun. Totally we'll be making a Model 2. This go-kart, if nothing else, has given me a taste of how fun these little machines can be. So stay tuned because there will be another go-kart episode in the future. More go-kart riding, more engines, and maybe FPV. That's nothing to do with it, but stay tuned anyway. See y'all.